All right, today we are going to talk about multiplying monomials. We're going to start in a new chapter with all kinds of exponent rules. You are going to have to study. I'm telling you this right now because you need to know your rules. So what are you going to learn today? You're going to, first of all, learn what a monomial is, and then you're going to learn how to multiply them using exponent rules. We're going to learn how to take a power to a power, and we're going to take a product to a power. Okay, so what is a monomial? A monomial is just a number, a variable, or the product of a number or one or more variables. So product is the key word. Okay, remember product means multiplication. So examples of monomials might be 5x. They might be 8xy, negative 12x squared y. And they're also going to be constants. And we've talked about constants all year. So basically, it's just a monomial without a variable. So negative 2, 1 mil, 100. Those are all constants because they don't change. Remember, the keyword with variables varies. It changes. Constants, it doesn't change. So which of the following of these are monomials? Okay. This is not because of the subtraction, so that is not a monomial. This is, this is, and while 3 fourths and 5t might look similar, I want you to notice when I write that with the horizontal bar, 5t, that the t is in the denominator. So because this t is in the denominator, this is not a monomial. Okay, so just those middle two things are monomials. Now you don't have this in notes, so just sit back, and I'll tell you when to start taking notes again, and I want you to think back to your rules of exponents. If I'm going to write x cubed without exponents, okay, it's going to be x times x times x, because the exponent means how many times we multiply the base. And then if I take my x to the fifth, and I write it out the long way, it's going to have five x's. Okay, That's going to give me a total of eight x's. So if I was going to write that the short way or using the exponents, it would be x to the eighth power. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exponents. Okay. I want you to notice, what is 3 plus 5? That's 8. wonder if that's a coincidence. Okay, 4 to the third power is the same as saying 4 multiplied by itself 4 times. And then 4 squared is 4 multiplied by itself twice. When I put that all together and write it as, going back to writing it with exponents, this is 4 to the fifth. Again, 3 plus 2 is 5. That's not a coincidence. That's your first rule of exponents. Basically, it says that if I'm going to multiply a power with the same base, like what we did before, that was what? 4 squared times 4 cubed, okay? We add the exponent. So we keep the base the same. So our base is 4, and we add the exponents. So this becomes 4 to the 5th, and this is on your notes, okay? Here are two examples. Now, 4 doesn't have an exponent, so remember our superhero, that invisible 1? He's going to fly in and drop a 1 there. So they have the same base, so the base is 4. My exponents are 3, 1, and 2. So this is the same as 4 to the 6th power. I'm not going to multiply them out. I don't care about that right now. It's just 4 to the 6th power. I'm going to rewrite it using a base only once. Okay? Here, my bases are 6. So 6 to the 8th plus 3 is 6 to the 11th power. It's a really, really big number that I'm not worried about. Just want to make sure that you understand how to multiply these. Because now we can do it with variables. Okay. Again, I'm going to drop my invisible one right there. 
So I've got P2 plus 5 plus 1 is going to give me P, when I add those all together, to the eighth. Notice that the second example on this slide is a little bit different because I've got some numbers in there without exponents. So remember, the associative property tells me I can regroup, right? Or the commutative says I can reorder. But I can rewrite this as 4 times 5 times x to the 6th times x to the 4th. Okay. 4 times 5 is 20. And notice those aren't taken to a power, so that's why we multiply them 4 times 5 is 20. And then, okay, x to the 6 to the, times x to the 4th is x to the 6 plus 4, which is going to give us 20x to the 10th. Okay. We're done, because we don't know what x is. Okay, let's do a couple more. Notice now that I've got A's and B's. So these have different. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to reorder this so that my A's are together and my B is not. And we tend to do these in alphabetical orders. It just makes things neater, okay? So this is A to the 2 plus 5 times B to the 4th. So I get A to the 7th b to the fourth. And I really don't need to have that multiplication sign in between. Because remember, when a variables are right next to each other, they mean that they are the same. Them, It means multiplication. Okay. In this example, I've got a lot of different things going on to regroup. So I'm going to regroup the 2 times the 3 times the 4. p it's just by itself, p cubed, and then I've got q and q to the fourth. Again, there's no exponent on this first q, so that's the same as q to the first power. So if I multiply 2 times 3 times 4 is 6 times 4, 24, and then p cubed, q to the 1 plus 4. So now that's going to give me 24 p cubed q to the fifth. Okay. Hey, again, this isn't your notes, but I want you to think what this means. 3 to the 6th to the second power, if I were to write it out, means 3 to the 6th times 3 to the 6th. Okay? And we just learned that if they have the same base, we keep the base, and we add the exponents. So this is 3 to the 12th. Okay. A cubed to the 4th power is A cubed multiplied by itself 4 times, right? So there it is. And then all I do again is add my exponents, which we just learned. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12 a to the 12th. Okay, I want you to notice 6 times 2 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Now they're not always going to equal 12, but they are going to multiply equal what you multiply. Okay, so what's that rule? It says taking a power to a power for every non-zero number a in integers m and n, this is the big bad math definition, a to the m to the nth is a to the mn. Okay, so in other words, we're going to take, to take a power to a power, which is what this is, or an exponent to a power, we multiply the exponents. Okay, keep the base the same, multiply the exponents. So if I'm going to simplify this, these two equations, a to the fourth to the seventh power is just the same as a to the four times seven, or a to the 28th power. In the second example, a squared to the 7 is a to, uh, a to the 2 times 7 or a to the 14th. So we kept the base the same and we just multiplied the exponents. All right, more examples. Now we've got kind of um, 
the combinations of things. And just like order of operations, we're going to do take the power to the power first, right? So we're going to do n to the fourth to the third first, which is n to the four times three, and then we're going to multiply by n to the fifth. So there's a couple steps here. Please don't try to do all of this in your head when you are learning. I want you to get these rules down so it looks really simple, but when you put everything together, it gets a little bit tricky. So you need to be writing down these steps so that you understand what we're getting. So n to the four to the third, it becomes n to the 12th times n to the fifth. Now we're multiplying those, those exponents. So it's the same as n to the 12th plus five, which is n to the 17th. So you see how when we took the powers to the powers here, we multiplied the exponents. And then when we multiply a power times a power, we add. So I think of it like a step down. Okay. So here I've got two different things. A to the fourth squared is the same as A to the four times two. A squared to the fifth is A to the two times five. So I'm going to get A to the eighth times a to the 10th, where did my a go there, okay? And now I add those, a to the eight plus 10 is a to the 18th, and I'm done. There is work to be shown. Those of you that think your hands are gonna fall off, it won't, I'm still holding on to my pen. All right, now, this is different from what we just did, because now I've got numbers inside of there. So everything inside of here is going to be taken to the fourth power. So 2 to the fourth power, z to the fourth power. So 2 to the fourth power is 16, because it's 2 times 2, which is 4, times another 2, which is 8, times another 2, which is 16, z to the fourth. So this is 16, z to the fourth. This example, I've got 4 squared times g to the 5th squared, which means we multiply. So I'm going to get 16g to the 10th. Okay. So I threw a lot at you today. You're going to probably need your notes to do the classwork tomorrow. So you make sure you've taken good notes. And what you hopefully learn today is you learn how to tell what a monomial is just a figure combination of constants and variables with multiplication. We learned how to multiply exponents. Remember to multiply, we add the exponents. If I take a power to a power, I multiply the exponents. I'm just abbreviating. And then when I'm taking a product to a power, I've got to make sure that everything inside gets multiplied or gets taken to that power. Okay, have a great day, and I will see you in class.